45 touchdowns, three picks last year at Oregon. Knicks fires and nearly. It's got to show consistency. Play clock is at two. A lot to apply and pressure. And Knicks scrambles, but Lara, thank you. P. Ryan, the third down back, is in there for Denver. Knicks is looking that way and has a man. That should be a first down. And because of trying to get the younger quarterback some reps. Had a look at Dallas Flowers before the play. Of course, a leg injury ended his season prematurely last year. Catch made. Spin move made. And that's going to be good for a first down. And Denver has moved the ball every drive. Has not finished it. And a drop snap could have led to that drive ending. It does not. Knicks falls on it. Knicks looking for the end zone, looking for Reynolds. Blanket coverage provided by Daryl Baker for Indianapolis. Denver has really long receivers, tall receivers. Colts show blitz back out of it. Ball is bobbled. Several players. Third and three. Knicks trying to buy time. Gets around Atabare. And it'll be a first down. And he'll step out of bounds at the 44-yard line. A sack and a half and five tackles in limited snaps a season ago. Odangbo applying pressure. In the flat catch made, tackle made immediately. Sagoon Alubi. Knicks will keep. Gets around Titus Leo. Gets a good lead block. And that's a first down for the Broncos. All summer. He knows when the play's over, but this is a really good athlete. Nate Atkins with the lead block. Valet the catch. Flowers ushers him out of bounds. And Valet is another big receiver. Absolutely. And then Estime is the tailback. Knicks throws. Touchdown. Touchdown yeah. grab for Denver. Marvin Mims Jr. on the touchdown reception. Rake, this is exactly what Sean wanted. Quick hitter, catch made. Is that a live football? They're going to play it like that. Picked up by the Indianapolis Colts. As of now, that is a catch and a fumble. And it is recovered by Chris Lamone. Knicks. Let's find an open man. And that's Kroll, who just had the fumble. No such issue this time. 17 yard pickup again. Colts bring four. Again, it's Kroll. And he'll have a first down. Pick it up. Good chunks of yardage here. That's a gain of 16. Playing that soft zone, letting him go down the field. Leo on Odangbo applied pressure, and that is just behind the intended receiver. Here comes pressure. Nick steps up. Great catch. Good open field tackle. Ball popped free, but late and in out bounds. of bounds. In bounds. No, it's running. Clock is. Oh, and they stopped it. So Broncos now well within field goal range. Again, they are out of timeouts. Knicks. Catch made, but now you got to get to the line and get set quickly. Yeah, you pretty much have to get it in the end zone. You pretty much have to throw it up in the end zone. Knicks. Miscommunication out there. He and Belay down on the same page. Flowers run at first. Titus Leo that made the play. A six-round pick from Wagner College last year. Catch made, tackle missed. First down, Denver, and stepping out of bounds with the grab is David Sills, the fifth. On the screen, McLaughlin. Good job by Johnson to shed a block and come over and make a tackle, but still, solid gain of four or five for the Broncos. They are playing a heavy front, which I hope becomes a part of of their defense. McLaughlin by his lonesome. First down. Spins away from the tackle of Trevor Denbo. Abraham over to make the play. Your man out of SMU that could not make the tackle. Here it's Harrison. And limits the damage to a yard or two. Kroll who was very busy in that last two minute drive. Third and medium. In the flat. Catch made. First down. Out of the eye. Motion Lucas Kroll. Kroll had a nice preseason game last week. Here's Knicks with two time. Able to complete Adam Troutman. It's a first down for the Broncos.
first down and 10. Into Green Bay territory, Nix takes the snap. Able to complete, Tim Patrick. Troy Franklin, when I watch the film, he's been open, so could see him be a target a couple more times tonight. Walker's in there now, and it's Patrick again. Out having your feet planted is something you'll need in the NFL. Fringe of the red zone. Here's McLaughlin on the receiving end. Out of the backfield. He's taken down at the 18-yard line. I appreciated the perspective from Patrick on that play. Here's third and three for Bo Nix. Has some green in front of him. Takes a look. Wants to run. Touchdown! I mean, it's so interesting because in all these interviews and private workouts, and you know, you're sort of expecting the unexpected. Javante Williams out of the backfield. Another first down as Denver offense moving out just shy of midfield. So it's a kind of a cool little extra thing that maybe, you know, being smart with how he runs is how coach thinks about it. Nick's in some trouble. I think he tripped over his own lineman there. Because he's had playoff experience in college, he knows how long a season really is preparing him for the NFL. Tried to set up the screen there and did not work. Third down and nine. From the 46, here's Nix. A little bit of a pass rush, zips it in there. What a throw by Bo Nix for the first down. Everybody wants Broncos Cardinals next week, and you'll get them. Preseason game three right here. Here's Nix, a little pump. And he'll get the sideline again. On second and ten. Nix wants to throw. Zips one in, wide open. Cortland Sutton. Inside the five, Robert Rochelle brought him down. Jaleel McLaughlin looked for a second like he had a shot at the end zone, but uh, was stopped quickly. Now throwing for it, and caught for the touchdown. Tim Patrick will enjoy this one at home. Next to Patrick, maybe that's something we should start getting used to as well.